Oh yeah, this is this guy uh, exposing uh, the Live Nation contract. Oh, Jumbo, yeah. Mm. My Live Nation contract right. worked. It I mean, was right go. around the time. I go. got to a place in my career, we sold out 10,000 people at Jones Beach. I mean, it was like the height of everything for me, and it was right around the time I figured out how my Live Nation contract worked. And it was right around the time I figured out how my record deal actually worked. And how did that make you feel? Shout out to Live like Nation, by the way. It was like, oh my gosh, if A plus B equals C, I'm never going to pay this back. I'm going to be on the road 11 months a year just trying to pay back. Live Nation, they're getting everybody coming 12 ways, 12 times a Tuesday. Are you with Live Nation? Like, no, I paid myself out of the deal, and mm -hmm. I had to pay 25% extra on what they advanced me. When you figure that out on the road and you're thinking, man, why did we buy 300 rolls of toilet paper? Why do we have to spend this much on catering God, every day? Dude. Wait a second, what? In my contract it says- Because it's not their money. You gotta spend this much on catering? And ain't even a headbanger. Yeah. But then I have to pay an advance back? And by the way, the advance that you have to give me is only on hard ticket sales. So the concept mm. of peanuts, parking, and alcohol. When that I ain't sell out 10,000 people at Jones Beach, the person who buys a $20 hot dog, I don't see a dime of that. Mm. The person who buys $40 for parking, I don't see a dime of that. Mm. And the person who buys $20 vodka and Red Bull, I don't see a dime of that and then which you is most of the people. million dollars and tell me I'm rich to then find out that you're making four million dollars a night it takes me 36 shows to pay back the one million dollar you advance me it's, it's a loan it's a it's fake, a, loan. Wait, it's a fake loan that it's like we're gonna give you a loan so you can make our money off of your creation Come on, get to the head hit me. oh my gosh they own all the venues it's a monopoly so then now they just want my body in this room so they can sell food and alcohol so then they're gonna make tons of money and then they got me like schlepping around the United States talking about I want to be famous so so when you figure like that out, Joe Schmo pays $20 for a hot dog and I don't see that. And if I'm only making my advance back on hard ticket sales, that means I have to sell out every single venue in order to not go in the red because I'm only paying my advance back on hard ticket sales. And by the way, we go. they reserve the right in the contract to put the tickets on sale. So when it's $100 a ticket and they do their summer blowout sale, the tickets are only $10. So instead of me paying back $90 a ticket right before I go on tour, the they drop a John Bellion sale and the tickets are only $10. And they gonna still make their money off the everything else. Sodas, the juice. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the show. It was, yep. They got their own special bro, water. Live Nation got yeah. every bro. They got the parking lots. Mm -hmm. Like we, I was in a, I forget some venue in Philly. I went to somebody's show down there, and they have a bunch of parking lots. And I'm looking like, yo, I'm talking about blocks away, mm -hmm. like not even like right next to the venue. You know, just a little lot. You they got the whole shit. They got Live Nation vests on and Live Nation signs out there for the parking lot. We rented wow. these parking lots a month in advance from mm -hmm. from Joe Schmoda, ish the landlord. <laughs> <laughs> and they charge them whatever the fuck they want to charge, bro. That's insane. That's a scam for everybody. It's a, it's a rap That's game. the shit it's I be rap. talking about. Like, we won't call Live it the Nation a scammer, racket. but we'll call some little real estate niggas scammers. No, it's a, all it's a racket. That's what the fuck it yeah, is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna call. I'm, I'm not gonna call it a scam because. Cause you get it's working it's, and it's real. So that's I'm why not because there's people out there that do just rather be famous. True, I agree, mm -hmm. but they want to be famous under for. I'm it's, it's, false, it's, it's, it's not going to say false pretenses because it's your obligation or your attorney's obligation to read your contract. Mm -hmm. So if you signed it, then it's not somebody scamming you. But if they signed it under false pretenses that you don't have no control over, like my nigga, I, he said he had to do 36 venues mm -hmm. to pay that back their money. Basically but you don't ticket. control the ticket price. Mm -hmm. So, yo, I got to do 36 venues if it's $100 a ticket. But if they want to give a Christmas sale for $25, now that might triple or quadruple the amount of venues yeah. I got to get to pay your money back. Well, they just did that. That's why it was all that talk about Meg's tickets being $28 or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't just Meg. They had brought down a few the price of a few artist shows. Yo, that's crazy. Son. What I've learned is there's a scam with everything. One. Yes. Two... There's gonna be a lot of people volunteering for the scam. True, mm -hmm. that's true. So it's tough to it's tough to know who should get the message of correct. hey, not this way versus the people that by hook or by crook I'm getting this done. New Joe Biden.